Today I'm going plant shopping and thrifting and I'm so looking forward to it. So pro tip, if you haven't been looking for planters at Goodwill and you're in the market for some planters or baskets, 10 out of 10 recommend. I mean, you can find your generic planters and you can spray paint them whatever color you want, but you can find really funky, crazy stuff that you can't just find that stuff at your, you know, local Walmart or Target. I'm also going to go to Oakdale Greenhouse, which is probably my number one pick besides Cactus Club, um, as far as nurseries to visit in Charlotte right now. They have like three different greenhouses packed full of amazing plants, common plants, hard to find rare plants, so I'm really excited to check them out. It's been a while. And if you're new to my channel and you're like, what is this plant, crazy plant lady? Welcome, my name is Ashley and I am just an, a plant hobbyist that loves all things planty as you can see. So if that brings a smile to your face and you want to see future episodes show up in your newsfeed, make sure to subscribe. We also have a wonderful plant community on Instagram that we would love for you to be part of. Us planty people have to stick together, right? That's why I started this channel was because everyone was like, you're nuts. I was like, okay, I'm gonna meet some other plant people on the internet, which you guys outdid yourselves with your amazingness. Now, a huge thank you to Apollo for partnering with me on this episode. I'm really, really excited to share them with all of you. You may have noticed over the past couple of months in my episodes and Instagram stories that I've been wearing this device. It's called an Apollo and it helps the way my body manages stress. Now, stress activates our fight or flight response and Apollo works by activating our rest and digest response to counteract that stress that we experience when we're in the fight or flight response. Apollo was developed by neuroscientists and physicians and its effects have been proven in multiple clinical trials and real world studies. The way Apollo works is by delivering gentle, soothing vibrations that condition the nervous system to recover and rebalance after stress. This touch therapy helps you feel safe and in control. I will admit that at first I was really skeptical and I wasn't sure what to expect, but now there are certain times where I've come to really rely on it. First of all, being when I'm experiencing stress and anxiety. It's kind of difficult to explain. It's more of like experiencing it, but it helps me because I've been conditioned after using it for a while, it helps me come out of that that fight or flight response and it puts me back into that kind of rest and digest so I'm able to relax and focus on what I'm doing and come back to the present. Another time that I really rely on it is with sleep. I have a horrible time with sleep, but I refuse to take any medications. And so I have a lot of systems in place to help me sleep at night. And I specifically use it at two times that I recommend. The first is, well, actually three times. So kind of the winding down an hour before bed. Then as I'm getting ready to fall asleep, I'll use it. And the app is really helpful and it has different settings that you can use and different kind of modes that you can use based on what you're looking for. But if I do end up waking up again, I'll use it. It just helps bring me out of that um, fight or flight and back into my, into the present. And I find that I'm able to fall asleep much easier than before when I wasn't using it. They are offering 10% off to Life with Ashley and Anita viewers. So big thank you to Apollo Wearable for sponsoring my video. Use my link to receive 10% off the Apollo Wearable by using coupon code Ashley. I am so excited to share my plant shopping and thrifting with you. Don't forget the haul is at the end of the video and it's always really interesting to see what I come back with from the thrift shop. So I hope you relax and enjoy this episode and see what I found at the end.
a lot of times I get asked, Ashley, where do you recommend? I'm visiting town. This is probably my top recommendation right now as far as greenhouses to visit. So I'm excited to see what they have in stock because it never disappoints. So first, if they have cute little red tiger banana trees here, they are $14.95. Absolutely <laughs> obsessed. They're so cute. I love some banana trees cute little bonsai here they're about $25 up to about $45 absolutely lovely they do have some money trees I'll be naming off prices as I see them and one of the things I love about this greenhouse is everything's labeled uh, all the plants are labeled so you know exactly what you're looking at all the prices are clearly marked um, sometimes in nurseries especially specialty nurseries like this not all the plants will be labeled, which can be kind of difficult um, to figure out what you wanna buy. Um, so I love that about this nursery. Now these Birkins are stunning. Look at that white variegation, $17.95 for these Birkins. Just wanted to take a peek here at this lovely Peperomia. Look at those heart-shaped leaves with the variegation on the outside of them. I really like this plant, 1995. Okay, that's kind of tempting. <laughs> um, I'm giggling because here I am like two minutes into it and I'm already tempted. Look at the staghorn. That's so not, like interesting how it's all growing out of its planter. Then there are some really beautiful syngonium, again, all labeled, red heart, golden, Plum Illusion, Golden back there again. And they're all about $10. Uh, lots of Peperomias. If you like Peperomias, I'm always impressed with the variety um, here at Oakdale. They have Ripple Peperomia, Piccolo, Piccolo Banda, Napoli Knights over there. They have Frost, Orba Variegated, Shumi Red, Petiolata or Parallel Peperomia. You can see why it's called Parallel Peperomia because it has parallel lines running on the leaves. Here we have Ginny. Peperomia Quito. This is a really fun one. I recently purchased this plant. It's $10 from here. Ruby Glow. Look at these little leaves on this. Little squishy leaves. Peperomia Quadrangularis, $7.95. So petite, Verticulata, Orba. They do have some Calathea White Fusions here, $15. Absolutely beautiful plant. I love it. I've given it a go a few times and mine got spider mice every time. Um, but if you have a good treatment for spider mites and that's not something that stresses you out, this is a, an absolutely beautiful plant. Raven ZZs, Ficus Altisma, Yellow Gem, Peperomia Green Bean, Ficus Tenecae, $39.95. I've seen some small ones of these at um, big box shops, which was surprising to me. Then there are some Fuzzy Petioles, $24.95. This is an, a fabulous philodendron. The petioles of these get really fuzzy, hence the fuzzy petiole name. The leaves are very velvety. It's quite a bushy philodendron, um, so there's always new growth. Look at this one, it has a little interesting color on the leaves there. It a, it's a great plant, it's one of my favorites. Then there's Ficus, Ficus umbrellata, $24.95. The leaves of these are so lovely with the heart shape. Um, ficus is just such a wonderful type of plant. Watermelon Peperomia, $34.95. These are huge. Look at these guys. They have some fun lipstick plant varieties. This one is Mona Lisa, four inch planters, $8.95. They also have variegated lipstick plants. They have Pagoda lipstick, Columnia, Lipstick, then Lipstick Rasta. They also have Philodendron Adam. A few of those. Let's see what else we have here. They have some Alocasias, an autograph plant, goldfish plant, coffee plant, 
Fitonia Pilea Peperomioides. These are so nice because they will push out all these little pups. Some more Peperomias. Pilea Moon Valley Friendship Plant. I love the texture of these leaves. Absolutely beautiful. Coming into their fern section, button fern, eyelash fern, <laughs> I love that name. Rabbit foot, you can see the little rabbit feet sticking out there. East Indian holly, autumn fern. Club moss, autumn fern again, foxtail fern. Looks like they have a few Cebu blues. Staghorn fern, these are larger, 1995. Calathea white fusion, variegated creeping fig. Then we have the lovely heart fern, 1195. I love this one, but I kill it every time because it needs moisture in the soil basically at all times and I always underwater it. But I love how they look like hearts. In this section, so this is three greenhouses. I was just in the farthest away greenhouse from the entrance and then in here they have a lot of cacti and succulents and hoyas so this is one of my favorite greenhouses and I don't know if you can see but there are some really exciting plants in here so I'm just gonna take a little look around these cacti are beautiful and look at these huge flowers on there I can't remember the name, but Oakdale did post on their Instagram sharing these cacti. They're $32.95 and really large planters. They have a variety of orchid cactus, um, all sorts of different ones. Apuntia, Euphorbia, all sorts of different varieties. They have pencil cactus varieties. Um, just worth kind of taking a peek seeing what they have loads of fun little succulents look they have bear paw <laughs> they have all sorts of neat stuff over here we have some variegated ones beautiful All right, Hoya time. They have a lot of them. So they have Hoya carii here. Um, the variegated ones are $17.95. Hoya pubicalix speckled, $19.95. Such an easy Hoya. Then there's some non-variegated carii there. And there are macrophylla, a lot of macrophylla, $19.95. Hmm. Hoya breviolata. That's a new one I haven't seen before. 1995. Let me pull this out. Interesting. Shepardii. Carnosa. Retusa over there. I see um, Hindu rope. There are a lot of macrophylla here, and I was just looking at this one. Look at the variegation on this macrophylla. Um, I recently did the houseplant tour for Cass. If you haven't seen that, oh my gosh, 10 out of 10 recommend. It was amazing. And her macrophylla started doing reverse variegation like pot of gold, and is doing all sorts of cool stuff. And this one's doing some interesting things as well. So that's kind of tempting. Look, they have a Hoya Chelsea, 39. 
some Waerii here, some more Retusa. They have Pachiclata. Now these Hoyas get a lot of sun, so it's neat to see the uh, sun-stressed ones. They have the beautiful red leaves, pink leaves. These Australis are very sun-stressed, looking beautiful. Some more Pachiclatas. They have a lot of string of hearts, $49.95. Really cool. Ooh, look at all these. Hoya Bilabadas, really healthy and large. String of hearts, $19.95. String of turtles, string of needles, variegated string of pearls. All these burrows tail. Rick rack, all sorts of good stuff. All right, now I'm in the first greenhouse when you first walk in, and I was immediately drawn to these absolutely beautiful whale fin snake plants. $64.95 for the extremely, extremely large ones and $44.95 for the smaller ones. Again, it's really nice how they're all labeled, especially with snake plants, as some can look very similar to each other. There's La Rubia over there, $34.95. Crown Jewel, Fernwood, Bird's Nest, Golden, Moonshine, Zelanica, $8.95, Jaboa, $59.95. They usually have some like interesting varieties like you see today, $8.95. Some more La Rubia, Moonshine, Superba Black Dragon, Superba Black Gold, Laurentii, Black Coral. They have Skindapsis trubii moonlight. It says Philodendron gray, looks like a silver sword. Sarawak, $49.95. Schistomaglottis. And then here's the silver sword. So I don't know if the silver sword is different than this one. I guess I see a little bit of a different color. That's interesting. There's some Aglionema back there. And, um, Dragon Tail, Ficus Radicans, cute little Monstera Dubia hanging out, some Jewel Orchids. This guy's a cutie. Look at those beautiful blooms. Some more Heart Fern. Oop, they have some Mykins here, $44.95. I was just over here admiring their peace lilies and they have some really nice 
I believe they're domino piece of lilies, but look at the variegation on those leaves. These are really, really beautiful, and I love, love, love my domino piece of lily. 10 out of 10, recommend this plant, and I also love it because the leaves will start to get droopy when it's thirsty, so it tells you what it needs. Let me see how much they are, actually. $24.95. Yeah, that's awesome. Velvet Touch Calatheas. These are great. They really have, feel so beautiful. Like a nice fuzzy texture. They have some different plants on planks, which is nice. Helps to promote large leaf growth. Looks like they're already attached. They have some different skin dapsis varieties. The ones over there on the planks are um, Silver and $34. Then there's Silver Satin here. Different pothos varieties. These Calathea Zabrina are absolutely beautiful. This is where I got mine. Um, I find that these are the largest ones, the ones from here, the largest ones that I've managed to find. And mine's been, you guys know I'm underwater. Mine, you know, seems to do okay with my watering schedule. Um, yeah, these are absolutely beautiful. This is also a really cool plant. I have it um, kind of near where my domino peace lily is. And I love the leaves, like obviously they're, it's an absolutely gorgeous plant, but it's another one that will tell you when it's thirsty, very easy care. The leaves will actually start to kind of curl in and that's when you know, okay, it's, it's uh, ready for a drink. I can't remember if they curl in or curl out when they're thirsty, but it will let you know. Diffenbachia panther. Just taking a look at these leaves. I love how they have the little panther spots on them. Some Raven ZZs, Adamsonii varieties, you know, wide form and skinny form. Oh my gosh, look at these Raphidophora tetrasperma. I've never seen one so compact. That's really interesting. Hey guys, they have golden dragons here. That's really neat. $79.95. Ah, looking healthy. Aglionema Spring Snow. Swinlandia is doing some interesting things. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. $14.95. Not sure what's up with that. But this one's doing it too. Jungle Buggy. Philodendron Goldii. Upright Lemon. Here's another Philodendron variety. Millium, 1995. They have some Monstera Deliciosas over here as well. up they have these cute little planters looks like they were originally three dollars maybe from target and they're a dollar fifty that's fun and oh look at the little heart gnome i love it of course i had to see this little guy this might be another one from like dollar tree or something like that but it's only 99 cents and he's so cute of course i have to get that there's a little army of gnomes here so fun some candles soap kit hmm With these little things over here it looks like some stuff from target this is a says it's a plant stand 
I always love looking at the glassware. You can find stuff for propagations, but I just have a weakness for glassware in general. Lots of little plates. You could use them as saucers to put your plants on. It's just a little thing for cream, but you could always use it as a little cover pot. <laughs> this is cute, a little shamrock, $1.49, again, cover pot. I always keep an eye for cover pots. Oh my gosh, look at this. You guys know I love some trash-tastic vibes, kind of random stuff for my plant room. <laughs> That's fun. This is nice. You can find some artists' um, work. I mean, some of the stuff's just from like home goods or something, but I found some really nice pieces before $2.99. Look at these little ducks. They are so cute. Oof, I'm gonna have trouble resisting those guys. All right, everyone, don't forget to seize the day. Little baskets there. this little planter and it has other planters in it and I think they're all the whole thing comes for $2.99 so it's good find. There is a lot of stuff over here. Hopefully I can find some good planters. It's like pieces of a ceramic pot that have been broken and then put back together. Looks like it's flowers. Oh, I love it. How much? $1.99. I love it. This is a candle. <laughs> Little hot chocolate back there. Gravy carafe. Actually, we could probably use one of these. This is cute. Heavy duty. This planter. This one is a nice big heavy duty planter. <gasps> Look at this little elephant. Oh my gosh. Yes, he's coming home with me for sure. Glassware. Some interesting options.
taking a peek over here at the pottery section. This is where I usually find some of the planters. <laughs> they have some funny stuff. Little snowman back there. Pitcher. Cute little teapot. Adorable. A little simple gray planter. It's like it's the same price almost as Ross, like it originally was and it's used. A little ladybug one. Some glassware. Always a smart idea to check out the basket. All right, this location looks like they have a few things, so let's check it out. Cute little old-fashioned lamps there, little sconce lamps. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. <laughs> they have some fun mugs today. Look at this one. Oops. This is a simple little planter. $1.99. I love the little blue detail on top. This is a cool planter. $1.99. I love the shape of it. Just give it a good clean out. Wow, they have like a whole section of uh, planters and stuff here. That one's cool, just a simple blue one. I like that, this one's cute, it has little acorns on it. Um, terracotta. Here's some simple ones. Some fun pastel colors. Is this for creamer maybe? Look at this bear. <gasps> oh my gosh, they're so funny. That's why I come here for the random, the random stuff. I like this little white basket, just kind of simple. Always a good place to find baskets. Some more little plain planters. Four dollars. No, thank you. How amazing is Oakdale? I love that place. I get people asking me all the time where they should go to, and there are some really great spots in Charlotte but they're definitely on like the tip, tip top of my list. So I'm ready to jump into it and share my haul for today. I have a lot of stuff. You wanna come say hi for the haul, buddy? This is Barney. First, I'm sharing the plants that I found. First of all, 
the cutest little heart fern. This will be my third time giving this plant a go. Don't come for me. I'm going to keep it in high traffic areas for me where I'm going to be around it a lot so that I have my eye on it, you know? Because this plant is super easy, except that it does not like to be dried out, which is my Achilles heel because I'm an underwaterer. So it was $11.95. It's literally the cutest plant. Let me show you in case you don't know about the heart fern. I'm like about to let you in on the cutest little plant ever. For, clearly called the heart fern because the leaves are like so ridiculously heart shaped. You'll see it um, out in nurseries a lot around Valentine's Day because it looks so much like a heart and it's the perfect Valentine's Day present. But I like it because the stems are so unique and they're really, really thin. So this one's small and compact and bushy, but as it grows out, these little wiry stems will grow out and they look like little wires and then they just have these cute little hearts on the end of it. And it's just adorable, I love it. And the stems even have a little bit of fuzziness and they're so cute when they make new leaves because look at that. It's just such adorable, an adorable plant all around. So like I said, I'll have it where it's close by me all the time and I'll just make sure I do a good job watering it. Fabulous, fabulous fern, terrific plant. Um, 10 out of 10 recommend. Again, this is my third time. Clearly I freaking love this plant. So I'll keep you guys updated. All right, so next up, I finally did it and got a moonshine snake plant. I've been wanting one of these since I first started collecting because it just has that like beautiful color to it. It's almost blue, like the moon is shining on there. So this plant is amazing. These, they need nothing. Like snake plants are, they need nothing. They're absolutely amazing. And I was really excited about this one for a number of reasons. It was $17, which look how humongous it is for $17. And it has two little pups coming out. Ah! I'm so excited. I'm gonna split this one. So I'm about to do an episode on snake plants. Uh, talking about care and watering and repotting and just all the helpful tips. Um, I usually keep those pretty short. It's like 15 minutes and tells you everything you need to know, but I'm going to repot these and, and um, split it. So if you're curious on how to do that and you're seeing little pups shooting up on your snake plant, keep an eye out for that episode. I'm putting it out in April. So by just like look how cute they are <laughs> I'm obsessed with it I'm so so excited about this one so let me share the planters that I got from Goodwill now um, <laughs> you know it's a good haul when you have like multiple bags first up oh I found this cute bag not plant related thought it was kind of crazy and interesting I don't know anyways getting into the planters Look how amazing this one is. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, you can just find interesting stuff. This was $1.99. It looks like somebody had some ceramic pottery and the pieces broke and put it back together. I love the pastel colors. And it ha looks like it was a pansy or some different orchids or something on the original piece of pottery. And it's just absolutely lovely. Uh, little too big, but no worries. I have a million plants I could put in there. Next up, <laughs> this cute little elephant. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. How much were you? $3.99. I paid for this one. <laughs> $3.99, that's not bad at all. He's adorable. Definitely have to find a cute little plant to put in him. Next up, look how cute this little trailer is. You guys know I love some Trashtastic vibes. So of course I had to get this little guy. And the rest of my house is so like minimalistic and neutrals and it's very, very peaceful, which to me, like I have to kind of have that peacefulness. But my plant room and in my bonus room, I love to have it like crazy and wild. So that's where these types of finds come in. Look how fun it is. Oh, uh, have to find another little plant to put in this guy. These are perfect cover pots. I mainly have my plants in nursery pots. So, you know, I just repot them in different nursery pots and then I put them in little cover pots like this. Very, very easy. $2.99. Look, it even has little like blue flowers, a little red flower, a little window, a little door with a little, another little window, a little back window. Oh my 
gosh, it's so cute. It's the little things in life. We have to get excited about the little stuff, right? Look at this guy. I feel like I might have recently got this one from Dollar General or something. I, I They have a whole series of um, these little planters that they've come out with that are all different animals. I think I have the polar bear and maybe like a seal. I don't know if I got the sloth, but if you like this, it was only 99 cents, which would be the same price about at the Dollar General. But if you like these types, keep an eye out for them at your local Dollar Dollar Tree. That's where I found them before because they have all different ones. Very, very cute. Okay, this was an interesting find. I don't even know exactly what I found yet because there are a few in here, but it came with three different pots for $2.99 total. So, ooh, that's cute. Isn't that nice? And it has a little drainage hole. Okay, that's the bottom. Let's see what this one is. Oh, this one's nice. This one has a little saucer. Very nice. And then we have this main one. Now, a lot of times I'll notice that these are perhaps cover pots from plants at Lowe's and all of that, which people just donate because they put their plants in a different pot or the plant dies. So you can usually find some really cute, simple planters that people donate. Also found this cute little pink blush colored candle holder and that's perfect for a little cover pot. It was 99 cents. I also found this really cute Athleta sweater. Athleta, Athleta. It's like a couple dollars. Um, maybe take a peek at the clothing while you're there. <laughs> Look at this little guy. He is adorable. You could put a plant in there and have the plant coming out. I have another one that's kind of, is, another, is for lack of a better word, barfing whale but it's wicker and I found it thrifting and he reminds me a little bit of that. Look at his little horn. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. Look at his cute little tail. Uh, just so sweet. How much were you? He was originally $7 from at home. I think I got him for like a buck. Again, I like the crazy funky stuff. What are you gonna do? Ooh, this again, I think is a little candle holder, but it's a perfect cover pot. A little shimmery, this would work downstairs in my like neutral minimalist decor, 99 cents. I found this one which I really liked. How cute that is, $1.99. I kinda like having some terracotta options for my cacti and succulents and um, those types of plants. And then I have this really neat planter. That is it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like it and subscribe if you wanna see future episodes show up in your newsfeed. I post a couple times a week, plant shopping, plant tours, plant care, all that kind of good stuff. Don't forget to leave your comments and let me know what you would have picked out if you would have been plant shopping with me today. And big thank you again to Apollo for partnering with me on this episode. Use my link to receive 10% off the Apollo wearable by using coupon code Ashley. All right, guys, I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. You will definitely be seeing me soon. Bye.